just dropped 109 kills with a clutch MGB nuke using the max mobility FFS Hurricane class. This is phenomenal if you're looking for another AR SMG hybrid in the current meta. I got the nuke called in at like 0.01 seconds in the hard point. And if you guys know, that is a ridiculously clutch feat. So if you guys enjoy, drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those post notifications. Let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the max mobility FFS Hurricane. This weapon is amazing. Another AR SMG hybrid to go ahead and use in the current meta. Now for the first attachment, the Phantom Grip is going to be phenomenal, man. This is going to be a good attachment. This is a submachine gun. So increasing sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed is going to be our top priority. Now for the tuning, we are going to be bumping up that sprint to fire speed some more at negative 0.29 and also aim down sight speed at negative 0.61. Now, do not forget the stock here is going to be another important attachment on all of these AR SMG hybrids. Now, for the Hurricane, we do luck out and we can't rock that demo Quicksilver stock, which is going to be drastically bumping up that close to medium range handling with that increased sprint speed, aim walking speed, crouch movement speed, as well as aim down sight speed. Everything we need on a running gun SMG build, we have covered with this attachment. Now for the tuning, we are going to be increasing that aim walking speed at negative 1.94 and more aim down sight speed at negative 2.71. A fantastic attachment and tune combo. We are utilizing the iron sights, so no need to rock an optic. And honestly, we do have a better attachment to choose from. Now, believe it or not, unlike a lot of my setups recently, I am rocking a laser and the FSS OLEV laser is going to be a great choice, giving us more close range benefit with increased aim down sight stability and sprint to fire speed not only we're going to help out close medium range but long range we're still going to maintain that you know running gun characteristic for the tuning we are going to be increasing aim down sight speed at negative 51 and sprint to fire speed at negative 0.32 a great attachment to tune combo here as well now for the barrel we are going to rock the integrated sound suppressor with the fss x7 barrel it's going to be a good attachment we're going to be able to run around their spawn build up quickly the streak and destroy play rules to get those mgb nukes now we have the bullet velocity damage range and recoil control also as a nice benefit as well now, for the tuning, we are going to be increasing damage range so we can go ahead and take people out at longer ranges and bump this up at plus 0.14. And we're also going to be increasing that recoil steadiness at plus 0.37. Overall, a great attachment and tune combo. We are obviously skipping over the muzzle. It's integrated, so the last attachment we have available is going to be the commando foregrip. We're going to be smoothing out that recoil pattern. And for the tuning, we are going to be increasing that aim walking speed at negative 0.21 and more aim downside speed at negative 0.46. Once you go ahead and jump in the firing range, even though we do have a bunch of running gun attachments on this gun, I mean, look at this, guys. This gun still has no recoil, and that's why this setup is so devastating. The remainder of the build is going to be the FTAC Siege in its submachine gun format, and we are rocking the SIR-160 rear grip, the 72-round drum, the NST-81 barrel, the FGX DS-70 laser, and the Siege wire stock here. Remember, you don't have to tune this if you don't want to. Now, we are rocking the stun grenade, proximity mine, and for the perks, we have double time scavenger, resupply, quick fix, as well as the field upgrade set to munitions box and dead silence. You can't go wrong. This setup is amazing. If you guys do tear it up, let me know down in the comment section. And as always, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those post notifications, and let's get into the gameplays. Let's get busy with the hurricane. This is definitely one of the most underrated submachine. Ooh, hold on. This is one of the most underrated submachine guns in the game by far. Figure out where these guys can be at, man. People don't really rock this gun for whatever reason. Let me know in the comment section if you guys run the hurricane. Is that an enemy? Because I feel like this is definitely a weapon that people sleep on and they definitely should not put that right there i need to just make sure that is he i'm really not liking how these guys are playing this though let's call that in let's go baby He 
Keep it moving, y'all. Hold on. Up that right there. Chipman is always sketch. When you're trying to maneuver and figure out where people are going to be at. Oh dear. Thank you, teammate. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. That's annoying. That's actually annoying. The only, the only reason I died is because he threw a thermite back there. That is the only reason I died right there. That's actually kind of irritating. The only reason I die is because he threw a damn thermite. Up that right there just in case. You know, I mean, it's shipment, so it's not like, you know, kills aren't ample, but damn, that's kind of annoying. Overwatch again. These guys are sitting in corners, man. This is horrible. I literally don't even have ammo. There we go. Dropping ammo here. Loading. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Stun grenade out. Coming next hard point. Stand by. So which way are they coming from? Second time I've died in a streak to a guy that spawned inside of me. I'll take that socking though. Dude, this is the dude. Shipment is. And look at these guys. Shipment is something else, man. That's the second time that I died because somebody wants to spawn inside of me. Are you serious? Look at this. Oh my god, the spawns are completely shocked. Up that there. I 
mean, it's not shocked again, but it's not completely chalked, but just the fact that I now have to build another streak that I wouldn't normally have to build is irritating. Holy shit. We got a minute left. Zero seconds left. I got it in. I got it in at zero seconds left in the game. I literally got the nuke in at zero seconds left. Literally. 109. Bro. Oh my. Talk about clutch. All right. So we can do it with the hurricane on showdown. This is honestly, this is a questionable map. It's, it's incredibly questionable. I mean, sometimes it plays good, sometimes it plays well. It is literally dependent on how people are gonna be playing and what they're gonna be using. So far, I already see a fire shotgunner in here, which is, oh shit, oh shit. Wait, how many, dude, how many kids with fire shot? Dude, how many kids have fire shotguns are in this lobby? Like the hell? Are there's two of them? Overwatch. I guess your teammate. So you can throw that right there. Oh, I'm taking that. I'll tell you that right now. It should, it, teammate. Took him out. All right, I got the advanced. All right, we're kind of burning the lobby up right now, which is good. Uh, they're spawning over here. Teammate is kind of shitting on them too, which is nice to see. Oh man. But he's on top. I don't care about that. Okay, I do care about that because I need to find out where that is. Confirming next hard point. 
Let's pop the daddy. Okay, it's over here. I need to figure out where these guys be coming from, man. Okay, I have an idea where they are. Reload. Rotate this way. Damn, I got caught. Yep. Oh, he has on the perk. Our UAV is orbiting the area. Uh, spawns are terrible in this game. Dude, imagine. Imagine. Imagined. Friendly cluster mine planted. Oh my god. Push that shit. Overwatch. These kids are bombs. Locating the next hard point. Get the fuel. RTB at this time. I can go right there. I just want this to end, dude. I do not want to be playing into lobby in the lobby with those kids running around with fire shotguns. They gotta be spawning over here. Gee, gee.